After three years of planning and preparation, the Alachua County Fire Rescue Training Center has officially opened at the Professional Academy's Magnet at Lofton High School. And that means some students at Lofton High are a step closer to a career in fire rescue and emergency medical services. It's very challenging. You get us ready for college for the next step. In June, I'll actually be going to City College for paramedics, and I will be doing fire EMS as well. The training center will be used by both fire rescue personnel and Lofton students. It came to be as a result of a great deal of collaboration in the community. Thanks to the Alachua County Fire and Rescue, I, um, uh, we got the necessary help and so on with all of us contributing to being able to, being able to create a real burn building out here for a reasonable cost. The cooperation between the school board of Alachua County and Alachua County Fire Rescue um, and Alachua County uh, Board of County Commissioners, without the support of these entities, uh, none of this that you see in front of you would have been here today. Uh, they've backed this 100% uh, for the benefit of the students as well as to our firefighters. And hopefully some of those students will soon be serving the community as firefighters and paramedics, thanks to the fire rescue training program and the new training center. We started the program about 10 years ago and have added to it throughout the last 10 years. And the real purpose of it is to be able to give high school students an opportunity to develop the skills and knowledge that it takes to get a job uh, in the real world. What the Magnet Program does is it brings young people from the community uh, that has a desire to serve the community and they come into this, uh, go through the, go through the, the, uh, the training program, and then they're basically prepared for employment when they come out. A little bit more training, a little more education, but they're basically prepared. At the center's grand opening, these students had opportunity to show the public just how well prepared they are. What we did was we ran through a scenario of um, what would have been a live fire. The attack team, Daniel and Kenneth, went in with the hose. I and Bryson um, were the uh, search and rescue team, which actually went in after the uh, first line and we grabbed the victim and we brought him out. They did very well and it's very realistic. Uh, you know, you go into, into a building like behind us that's, that represents a house or a commercial structure. When it's filled with smoke, you can't see anything. Um, and, and you have to remain calm. You have to stay focused on your objective. Uh, and they did that very well. Students agree the training has been invaluable. I've been in the program actually just this year, uh, first responder, and it has been challenging because we do deal with the, the real life situations. We go over the terminology and it does prep us for what we do in the future. It's been real valuable because I learned a lot of stuff during the years and and it's been a real good experience for me. It's been helping me a lot because you learn all your certain medical skills that you need. Uh, whenever I graduate from here, I'll be a first responder, so if I show up at a scene, I should know what to do there. I've actually been certified in CPR since um, 10th grade. It's been two years. Yeah, we'll be recertified this year before we graduate, and we've learned backboarding, and we've learned different things like how to handle certain issues like head trauma. I've learned many medical skills, CPR, capillary refill, and how to roll up hose and anything else that you really need to know to work in this line of field. That kind of knowledge can help students figure out what they want to be after they graduate and perhaps where they want to be. The program I, I believe was well needed, um, especially with uh, dealing with the young people. Um, uh, because a lot of people don't know what they want to do in life, but I think that because this program was, was held today, I think that uh, this is an advantage that a lot of people should take uh, heading into the career and what they want to be. I think that this gives us the opportunity to get them a chance to see what it means to be a firefighter. We get a chance to train them and teach them uh, what they need to know and start them early so when they get done with their training and that they can seek employment here locally. The building here, the structure is not going anywhere. The partnership that we have with the with the school board and with the with the magnet program here uh, is not going anywhere, you know. So, not only is it for our folks, it's for the ones that are currently in the program, and then it's for the future generations that are, that are still yet to come. For now, students can't say enough to praise the program and their teacher. I thank Miss Hardy. She's she's a really good teacher and she's dedicated to this. I'm really excited and the program just is just really instilling in me to find myself more and to, to really go for my dream.
I like helping people and I thought being a firefighter would be awesome. And it became even better when I first got into the program and I met Miss Hardy, she's an awesome teacher. Once I seen that first demonstration, I have filled out the application to um, get in the fire academy and then my ninth grade year, I came here and I've been here ever since. I really love this program. I mean, ever since I transferred to Lofton, it's been a great experience, Miss Hardy, and fellowship, fellowshipping with the other people. It's been like, it's just a great experience. Lofton is a great school, everyone in their program, especially Fire Academy program. If you're interested in it, you should definitely come out and give it your all. It's an amazing program. We have an amazing teacher, so I love the program. Miss Hardy is a wonderful person, um, so just just do it. Seize the day, go after it, do, follow your dreams, because you know not everybody gets a chance. For Alachua County Communications, I'm Alan Yetter.